Hello everyone, Chantel here. In this video, I am going to show you all how to do a pallet wood door hanger. I already got the wood and stuff put together because I didn't want the video to be super long. So I'll actually just show you the measurements and nailing it all down. And I actually started drawing on it as well. I completely forgot that I was going to be doing this video. So please excuse me for that. But I can still show you in this part. This is actually all you really need is the pallet wood. Of course, it's already assembled. A ruler, pencil, and of course an eraser. You'll need the cup of water and your paint. And as always, it's already mixed because I, I make most of my colors. So right now I'm actually going to show you the measurements and nailing the pallet wood together. Okay, so the first process in all of this is trying to figure out how long you want this. So I actually have different types of pallet wood and I usually like to use the ones that are uh, best type is about the six inch thick ones sometimes but in this case this one is four of course it's not the four four but this is considered four and since it is the four and instead of the the six one it actually looks good still but too many of them will make it look really really weird so I actually measured it out this way 16 inches and this up and down is 4 inches and when you're assembling it you need to cut out a smaller block not the same length as both two of the pieces of wood just you know a little shorter and you need the nail top and bottom and I actually had my husband to do that. And sometimes you need to nail, put up one extra nail in each side. Because this actually happens. It raises up some. So you can see. It raises up some. So I'll actually have to have him put another nail in once he gets home. And the same process is with the top. But of course the top has to be bigger. And with this one, I usually use about three of them. And that makes it 18 inches because it's six inches wide. But as I said, these are four. So I had to do four of them. I actually checked to see how it would look with five. And it just, it did not look right at all. Not one bit. And same process for the back. The piece of wood. And you see how many nails were put in here two on each of these for each side so a total of eight now when you are drawing on this hopefully you can see my measurement lines but I always I always measure in the middle and then across so I can make sure I get everything even because I sight draw a lot of my stuff so um, I print it out on a piece of paper and I have it sitting in front of me and if I do a grid on here I do a grid on my paper which I can actually make a video and show you all how to do that so if you need like bigger scale things but hopefully you can see it in the video light draw is like softly softly to use your pencil as best as you can but I actually have to go over this a little bit more to make sure that I'm able to see it as good as I need to so the next step is actually painting it so let's get to that all right so the first thing we're going to do is paint the outline of it 
so then you'll be able to see where things need to go the border of it so you can see where the border of it is you want to do it heavy it's not like a canvas where you can just put like a a, a smaller line and it'll be okay without it being that much pan on there because with the palette wood it actually kind of sucks it up paint in between the creases So, we got the base coat finished. Now, when you're looking at it, and if you see any white right there, be sure to go in behind it and get it. Now, if you turn it in, you see that there's still some brown right there in between. Make sure you go in behind it and cover it up as best as you can. Right now, I'm actually going to let that dry, but I'm going to go ahead and move to the name. And if this needs another coat, always make sure that you put it on there. Since most of it is down, it won't be as hard to see after, you draw, after you've drawn it on this time. So let's move on to the name. And I'm actually going to use my thinner brush to do the outlines of it. It's really the same process. And you have to make sure that you don't mess anything up. Because seeing how you're just painting this design on the palette wood and you're not putting a background color or anything on it it's really really hard trying to get this paint off i actually had to make a palette door hanger for a set of twins and the mother ended up changing how to spell one of her daughter's names so trying to sand that and get that paint off it was a pain it was so hard
right, so we got this nice and finished. I'm gonna let it dry and see if it needs another coat, but most likely it will not because I put a thick coat on it this time. And the top doesn't need one either. It actually did really good. So now all that is left is the bottom piece. So what I am actually going to do, since it's the same process as the top, I'm actually going to get this finished and come back once it's time to add the hangings and the bow for the top so I will be right back okay so we're going to add the rope to it I actually have like a bunch and you can buy it from Walmart or Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby has different thicknesses of it which actually comes in handy depending on different things that you have to do but I actually have this measured out and the length between this one and this one is about three and a half inches so what I'll do is I will measure this to make sure it's enough to tie double to triple knots so let's do about nine inches for each one you know I'm actually going to cut it 12 inches I would rather have too much than not enough now what you're going to do is you're going to take the rope and push it in from the back my husband actually drilled these holes in here so it helps then to glue it but sometimes you see how it's trying to unravel sometimes it tries to unravel when you're pushing it through so you have to be extra careful when you're doing it if it gets bunched up you can actually take something maybe like a paintbrush if it's not too bad and you just push it through and place some more in there And push and here it is on the other side Ta -da! all right now let's make the knots that's one and I don't I don't ever do just one because it can slide right back through there and seeing how this is pallet wood it's pretty heavy and I don't want anything to slide through because as I always say quality is better than quantity now let's take it and let's check pull it just a little bit not too much you don't want it to pop out Okay, that's pretty good so what I do to make sure that it's nice and secure is I take my hot glue gun add glue and then I pull 
make sure it's nice and good pull and press not do again do not pull too hard you do not want it to come out All right now let's take our other strand and we're going to do the same thing so instead of you sitting here and watching me do this all over again I'm going to skip this part and come right back when I'm showing you how to add the bow so I will be right back all right so I got the rope attached on the bottom and the top and I actually always cut it a little shorter so there won't be so much hanging. Those are good. I already cut those. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do the bow. Here's the bow. And what we're going to do is we're going to check and see where it looks best. So, always adjust and make sure that that's where you want it before you attach it. you've watched my other video I always say I use E6000 for when I'm attaching something to wood because I don't want it to come apart so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the glue be generous with it because you want to make sure that it covers the entire area so nothing comes apart. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to put some right there on the back this is to help with extra security I'm going to take it and place it right there on it I always slant my bow a little bit because it's not really like cute if you just have it just sitting there just oh yeah let's just hang it down but that's my opinion I always slant it a little and with the E6000, I actually place something on top, which it actually does kind of smush the bow, but I know how to puff it out and I have stiffener spray. So I'm actually going to put something on here to make sure that it stays held down until the E6000 glue dries. And once it dries, I will show you all how the complete door hanger looks.